Hi, um, welcome to Permaculture TV. I'm here with uh, Assistant Professor Phil uh, Howard from uh, Michigan State University from the Department of Community, Agriculture, Recreation and Resource Studies. Hi and welcome to the welcome to the show. Hi, thanks for inviting me. Yep, no problems. Um, what I wanted to do was uh, to talk to you about your infographic, which are focus on the organics industry in the United States, and um, and uh, it'd be great if you could just sort of talk generally about the work that you do, and then maybe later we can talk. It'd be great if you could talk talk us through some of the infographics which are become popular on the web, and maybe help people understand how they can how they can uh, read or use these infographics and um, whether they can learn things from themselves and maybe, uh, uh, you know, apply that sort of um, understanding to help their own practical situation. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so firstly, could you just explain your, your role at the university and the research that you do? Well, I teach several classes in community food and agriculture, and then I also conduct research. So one of my projects looks at consolidation in the food system and I, for the last few years, I focused on the organic industry. And this came about because I have got my PhD in rural sociology at the University of Missouri. While I was there, I worked with uh, Dr. Bill Heffernan and Dr. Mary Hendrickson. They've been studying consolidation globally and in, in the much bigger food industry for a number of years. And I, I was able to, to get on a project and work with them and learn more about uh, these things that were really hidden from us as consumers. I and mean, we don't realize that, that you go into the super, a supermarket, which has, you know, over 40,000 items typically, mm. um, there's a much smaller number of companies that are producing those products. Mm. And uh, when I was working at the University of California, Santa Cruz, uh, I was talking about these issues and, and um, decided the best way to, to make more people aware of this was to put together some information graphics. Well, essentially, the, or, the organic uh, industry in the U.S. is growing very rapidly, at least yep. until the last year or so. It's grown about 20% a year since 1990, and it's, it's only slowed a little bit in the last few years. And as a result of that growth, it's changed substantially. It's gone from an industry that uh, you know, was, was uh, dominated by a large number of small firms to now where you have the entrance of much bigger firms. You have some of the biggest companies in the world like Nestle, Kraft, and General Mills that are either acquiring some of these pioneering organic food companies or introducing organic versions of their own products like organic Oreos. And so for consumers, um, this means that, you know, this has some positive impacts and that organic is much more accessible. You can mm -hmm. get organic foods just about anywhere now from mm -hmm. Walmart to McDonald's. Yep. Uh, in some cases, uh, the prices are lower, which is yep. good news for consumers. Um, yep. Particularly in in things like bag salads, the yep. price on that has dropped tremendously. Yep. As a result of the, the industrialization of organics. Mm -hmm. But uh, for for some of the people who hold, hold the original ideals of organics, there sure. there are mixed impacts. I mean, sure. Uh, if you're interested in supporting small farms. There's there's less uh, space to do that with with supporting organics now. Yeah. If you're interested in eating whole unprocessed foods, um, mm -hmm. you can do that. But the, most people that are out there are contributing to to the trend of it's more and more processed foods that are being sold as organic. And uh, you know the you know in terms of uh, reducing the impacts on the environment, we have it's much more of a global industry. A lot mm -hmm. of these big companies are sourcing organic foods that are grown in China, Brazil, and other right. places around the world. So mm -hmm. um, the idea that you're reducing your um, fossil fuel consumption by, by, by organic is necessarily true.